So in this video, we're going to learn how to do database backup and again how to restore it. And I hope you know why we need a database backup and restore. So suppose I give you one example. I have this table now in my DB. So now what I will do, I will first go and take that backup. So go to database, then database name, and then task, and then go to backup. So it's by default is everything is pulled. So name of database is there and they specify that path. You can go it and see it here. That path is there. So I will go and use that default path only. So in backup, we will get that. And if you need anything extra, a different path, so you can add it. So now I will go and press OK. So we can see that database successfully backup is done now. What I will do now, I have this table, have that value. I will delete that now. Sorry, my bad. So now we already deleted. If we see that, so that table have no value. So now I will close this. Since we need to restore, I will do replace as well. Now I will go back again to restore it so that we can get that table value. So I will go to task, then restore database. And see already since only one backup file is there, whatever we provided that full database backup with the name of SQL interview, how we created now database name is there. So you can change it if you wanted to restore some other database. So you can change it from here. So now I will go ahead and do that. Okay. So now it's restored successfully. So now if I go it back here and try to do that. So we can see that now it's displaying all those values correctly. So I hope you like this video. Please let me know if you have any questions.